Hey everybody, we are making some Irish soda bread for you from the unofficial Harry Potter cookbook. I got Sarah, and Katie is getting me the tripod for this camera right now, but she'll be on camera soon. She can't find it. We'll Finding involves looking, Katie. She's supposed to be a Hufflepuff too. What the heck? She found it. Um, I have to say, so guys, we made our our very first like cooking um, vlog. I guess I really don't like my hair today. Um, yesterday, nice. and it was so much fun. Like, cause I genuinely like cooking is probably one. I almost like went to chef school. Like, I not chef school, culinary school. Like love to Chef's cook. School. It was so much fun making stuff and like weirdly like talking to a camera and like explaining stuff. Yeah, totally. Um, so um, I think this is gonna be a fun thing that we do. Yeah. And I will say, you'll notice that Tiffany's not either one of these things. Tiffany can't. I don't know if she can't cook, but she doesn't like to. She chooses not to. And she also has a husband who comes from a family of good cooks, and he himself is a good cook. Yes. Aka my family. <laughs> so. She's like my mother. My mom can cook, doesn't like to. She married a guy that will cook for her, so. Whatever. She, is, your she and Katie are the official taste testers of Swish and Flick, and Megan and I are the official cooks. Yes. Yeah. Although I made chili the other day, and it was surprisingly very good. It was, it was meatless chili, because Tiffany and I are trying to be good Catholics and not eat meat during Lent, so. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just don't. Not offended. <laughs> What? Do I get to taste All right. everything today? Is your battery yeah. flashing? Oh my god, it is. <gasps> oh my gosh. Swish and Flick, we're gonna make Irish soda bread. Which to me, this is not Irish soda bread because it's not what my mom makes, but apparently she makes a variation on it. Do you want me to read the little story at the beginning? It's fine. We're using again the unofficial Harry Potter cookbook. It's a recipe from it. Ooh. Is it, um, what's the word? Okay. Okay, Mrs. Weasley always seems prepared when it comes to food. Harry can burst in on her in the middle of the night and she'll still be able to serve him a nice meal. Fresh bread is part of it when Dumbledore brings Harry to the burrow after taking him to Professor Slughorn's. See Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, chapter five. All right, so we're making Irish soda bread. What you're gonna need, let me see this because I can't read. So you have four cups of flour plus extra for dusting. You have, um, well, let me see, one and a half cups of buttermilk. This is not how I would have done it. One of these is one and a half, or yes, one and a half teaspoons of baking soda, yeah. one and a half teaspoons of cream of tartar, a teaspoon of salt, you have... Um, Three tablespoons of sugar. Correct. And you have four tablespoons of butter or a half of a stick of butter. And one beaten egg. Yes. So what you're going to do first, preheat your oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Which Done. we did. <laughs> and then you're going to grease and flour a nine inch round oh. baking dish. I got it. <laughs> oh gosh. Hold on, I'll flour it. Alright, so while she's gonna flour, so you grease, flour the nine inch round baking dish. So in a large mixing bowl, you whisk together the four cups of flour. Oh, is that what that bowl is for? What is this empty bowl for? It doesn't matter. <laughs> I didn't think we were going to use the KitchenAid over here. This do bowl's you, useless. Do you need the whisk? Is the whisk atta attachment in there? No, it'll be fine. Okay. So the baking soda and the cream of tartar go in. Watch people be like, you're saying that wrong. Sorry. What? Tartar? tartar? I, I really don't know. You got me. Also guys, make sure you wash your hands before you cook. Cook with clean hands. You should also do everything with clean hands. Like, <laughs> just a good tip. Don't this spread germs. This is how I 
together with the sugar and the salt. Clean up crew. You never know what's gonna happen when you're cooking. Especially with Megan and Sarah. Oh God. Can I have a... So there is a whisk attachment um, that you can use or you could whisk it by hand. We're not cooking in my kitchen, we're cooking in Megan and Katie's so I just am using their regular KitchenAid with their um, like this attachment. I don't know what this attachment is called, but I use it's it. The, it's I the standard the, one that comes I'm with like, it. I call it the cookie one, because that's how I make cookies. Yeah. All right, so after the mishap of the egg, can I have something to whisk it with? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I said in our previous one, it's easier, like if you're, and you can use this when you're just making like scrambled eggs. If you poke the egg first and then you um, scramble it or beat it, it's easier. The yolk breaks, once you beat, like poke it first, break it first and then you can beat it. Also, I read somewhere once that the best scrambled eggs were made when they were um, scrambled with chopsticks instead of like a fork or a whisk or something. I've never tried it. I'm not a big scrambled egg eater. Maybe that's why fried rice is so good. Mm. All right. Here's the fork. Okay. <clears throat> so we have to rub this. Okay. I knew I was gonna have to get my hands dirty because that's how my mom makes her Irish soda bread. So when she makes it, she puts everything in and like gets her hands in there and stirs everything around. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the butter, so it's a half a stick, and you're gonna rub it in um, until it's completely rubbed in. The mixture will then, <laughs> <Can't be. laughs> it says, the mixture will still be floury because of the much higher proportion of flour, and then with a wooden spoon, stir or fold in the egg and the buttermilk until the dough be for begins to form. and the buttermilk and you just like fold it in with a spoon until the dough starts to form. <clears throat> Dump this in. And the buttermilk. Also, I heard another tip um, when you're, if you don't have buttermilk, I think what you could do is take whole milk and add vinegar to it and you get buttermilk. So after you have formed it into a dough, you want to pour it out onto a flour dusted surface and knead it for a Can little you bit. This? I might, yeah. The, the spoon? Oh, no. So much that he's with me always. Okay, so we're going to take the dough and put it onto a floured surface here. So you can see it's pretty, it's formed pretty well. There's a little bit of flour in the bottom there I'm going to pour out. And we're just going to knead it.
time. It's actually, so there's like two minutes left on the stove, but um, it's finished, so. So she says. So I say. Woo! Whoa. That looks so good. It did stay. Check out our lightning bolt. Looks amazing. A nice right. close up of that. So, you Yummy. take it out of the oven, and, and you're supposed to cool it completely on a wire rack. So now we're gonna leave that there to cool. Mm -hmm. It smells so Ooh. good in here. Pizza's here. It's so good. Me, man, I'm witch. We're also doing our live. Movie hey guys, watching. you guys are all gonna be on the vlog. Say hi, vlog. Oh, I was like, who are you talking to? Oh, so, yeah, peeps. Guys, it was good. Amazing. Amazing.